it's raining outside and you want some adventure. It's a really good option. <laughs> In today's episode, we are talking about indoor skydiving, how to make this trip yours, and some really fascinating Q&A if you're curious about <laughs> this indoor sport. But if you're new here, welcome. I'm Christine Lozada. This is Where in the World is CL, where I make travel videos every week. So if you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. Let's jump into some of the top things you gotta know if you want to do indoor skydiving. I was at iFly in South Seattle. They have locations all over the world, but after you suit up and do a quick briefing, you fly with an instructor. Mine, Brighton, awesome. This kind of awesome. But I got to do two flights that were exactly 60 seconds each. Wait, what's the number one mistake that people make? Uh, bending their legs. Yeah, so when you bend your legs, the bottom half of your body actually sinks out. Yeah. It makes it a little bit harder for you to fly, harder for yeah. us to control you. And so if you keep your legs straight and hold still, mm. wind picks you up, keeps you floating. Got it. Yeah. So it's all about the body positioning, which we'll talk about more in a minute. But you're probably wondering, is it hard? And it's not because the instructor is there with you the entire time. It's just fun, but it's different mainly because of the wind. How fast is the wind that's coming through the tunnel? Yeah, so and it, it makes sense because it changes yeah. by person. Tell me more. Yeah, so you were flying at like 58, 59 okay. percent. Um, I don't know the exact wind speed of miles per hour. It's somewhere in the 90 miles per hour sort of range. Okay, because um, I weigh a lot. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty pretty average. That's what we see with most people. Uh, you know, flying on the belly to earth position. You know, you have a lot of surface area hitting the wind, so you don't need as much wind speed to hold you up. And it's safer for first timers. That's why we give you the baggy suit. That yeah. air picks up that suit. So with that suit they provide, you have the option to cover your face completely. I chose not to so I could smile for the camera, which also means I was drooling all over myself. Actually, let's talk about the suit for a second because yeah. when you come here, you should be wearing just loose, regular, actually not loose, fitted clothing because you're wearing the whole suit over you. Brighton's in there with you and you're wearing a fitted suit. Yeah. So, so just talk to, talk to me a little bit about the suit. Yeah, so like my suit is fitted more. I have to adjust to other people's wind speeds. The suit is a bit tighter for me. It helps me cut through the wind better and walk yes. around, get places fast, do what I need to do. Yeah. Uh, your guys' suits are a little bit baggier and so what it does is that bagginess, the extra material creates drag, creates mm -hmm. lift, makes it a little bit easier to fly with that wind speed. Yeah. So you're basically driving the Toyota Corolla of suits. <laughs> you know, easy to drive, you know, nice and smooth. Yeah, yeah. Mine's a little bit more of like a Ferrari, you know, you gotta know how to drive it. <laughs> what are people most afraid of before they go in? Um, honestly, just the heights, like doing the high flight. People are like, oh, I'm scared of heights. And, mm. But they don't really realize that as soon as you get in there, it's just it's a bunch of fun, you know? Yeah. You're not even realizing that it's scary because yeah. you're just having a blast. And in those high flights, those are optional. At iFly, you pay additional for what they call a high flight, which I recommend because, I mean, doesn't this look like fun? It's because it is! Give us a full demonstration of what, what, this, what the body position is. Okay, the body like. position, okay. Okay, go ahead. So we got legs wide, legs straight, hips forward. We're gonna bring our arms up, we're gonna bend them slightly, and then we're gonna look up at our hands. Which, and you obviously, know what? we're on our belly. Uh, so, you, so we practiced that in the classroom beforehand, and it's funny because you told us to do this, yeah. but I was still doing this. <laughs> yeah. Well, so, sometimes you're not really aware of how your body is. You're so overwhelmed by all the wind, and that's yeah. why we're there to kind of adjust it, give you corrections and stuff that's while keeping funny. you safe. Let's recap this experience. Expect to be at iFly for about an hour plus. There's classroom time, suiting up, then two flights at 60 seconds each. You pay extra for high flight, around $20, but two flights in general are around $65 to $85, depending on what time and day you go. Let's say for someone like me who just had her first experience, if I wanted to try to get at your level uh -huh. and do some of the awesome tricks you were doing, yeah. like what does that look like for someone? Are, are we learning in this classroom or what does that look like? Yeah, so we basically did what you did today. You start out, you know, coming in, doing a first time experience, seeing what yeah. it's like. Uh, and then you saw with Chase, one of my students, yeah. we start out on the net. We turn the wind speed down real low so yeah. that we don't have to worry about you flying up. We can just step Actually, out in front of you. how low is low? Because I noticed 
he was very, very low. Like, what was yeah. the wind speed for him so versus for me? On the net for him, he he's done a little session before on the net, so I had him around 55% on the net, so okay. a little bit, probably like 80 something miles an hour. He yeah. is, he is, knows the position to keep himself there. Uh, and then we started turning the wind speed up as he got more comfortable with his positions. Mm. You know, we teach the maneuvers down there at the low wind speed. It's much more safe to do it that way. Yeah. And then once they're comfortable doing all those maneuvers, controlling themselves, we turn it up a little bit more and teach them how to start coming up off the net. So will Chase spend classroom time with you or is it simply you're giving him what to work on next and then he's just doing that the next time he comes? Um, we don't necessarily do a classroom portion. We do what's called like a briefing. Got and it, so got it. before his session, you know, 10, 15 minutes before, yeah. we'll kind of go over what we're going to work on and how I'm going to communicate what I want him to do. Yeah. Obviously, it's kind of hard to talk in there. So, <laughs> and we have, we have a lot more ways that we communicate in there with hand signals and stuff other yeah. than the ones that you use today. And so, yeah, basically we go over everything, how it's going to go, how we want you to do it, you know, what to do if you get in this position, you know, how to keep it safe, that yeah. sort of thing. We go over all that stuff uh, so that we can have safe and have fun and I learn. I love that. How many second time, like how many people come back, like repeat come back? Uh, we have people come back all the time. So we offer you the return packages after you fly because obviously we want you to come back and fly yeah. more with us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how did I do today? You did really well, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> so you're, you're pretty arched out, so your body is bent like this, so yeah. it's having to use a little bit more wind speed to keep you up, but if you get you just a little bit flatter, and with the position that you're in, you're doing really well. How do I get flatter? Because I was, what was cool was when you're in there, you can watch the replay, because yeah. there's a delay, so you're watching yourself right after you come back in. Yep. And I was watching myself so that I could adjust for the second flight. Yeah. So what should I do differently for my third flight? Uh, just de-arching your chest a little bit. So what I mean by de-arch is we're gonna just cup in the chest, pushing our folded, mm. sh shoulders forward a little bit, yeah. And uh, so you were super like this. We yeah. just wanna kind of bring it I thought it, it was hips forward. Yeah, hips forward. You want these to be the center point, but not so much that yeah. we're bending our legs. Okay. Whoa, what an awesome time. I hope to see you at iFly. This is one of many videos about Seattle Southside. Check out the description below for the full playlist and I'll see you in the next adventure. Ciao. Of course, You're yeah. an awesome instructor today. Awesome. Ooh, yeah, nice job. Her. Yeah. Uh,